happens is, is that the meat in the refrigerator is going to go bad because it is not sealed. If a air purifier is not sealed, you are just moving the dirt. You might as well just get a mover in and move your furniture out and move to a new place because all it's doing is moving the dirt. Come and see my site, www.killdirt.com. Thank you. As Ceratillus is one of the microorganisms that spreads through air. The spores of asparagus, which is known as component of aerosols, where they drip on air, dispersing themselves, both short and long distance, depending on environmental conditions. When these spores come into contact with solid or liquid surface, then they are deposited if conditions are right. Asparagus molds are found everywhere worldwide especially in the autumn and winter in the northern hemisphere. The germs include over 150 species but only a few of these molds can cause illness in humans and animals. Disease caused by asparagus is called asparagulosis. In future, biological weapons can be used to attack a country. At present time, many researches are being done about using biological weapons efficiently. Biological weapons are toxic materials produced from pathogenic organisms or artificially manufactured toxic substances that are used to intentionally interfere with the biological processes of a host. These substances work to keep in capacity the host. Biological weapons may be used to target living organisms such as humans, animals or vegetation. They may also be used to contaminate non-living substances such as air. There are variety of organisms that can be used as biological weapons such as anthrax, Clostridium botaninum, asparagus, and so on. Soon, you might not be able to hear any more about canon and bazooka, but malicious attacks of microbes. In future, warfare intercity can go to different directions. In fact, a war could be arranged by using more organisms.
The respirator most commonly used in healthcare for protection from infectious diseases is the disposable N95 filtering face piece. It is an air purifying respirator, or APR, that uses filter material to provide protection against inhalation of small and large airborne particles. Disposable N95s come in a number of styles, cup, duckbill, fan fold, and flat fold. Disposable N95 respirators are sometimes confused with common surgical or examination masks. It is important not to confuse the use and user requirements of the two. Surgical masks provide protection against respiratory droplet spread diseases, but provide only limited protection against airborne spread diseases. The disposable N95 respirator is worn on the face and fits tightly to cover the nose and mouth. It does not protect against exposures from gases and vapors. Never use a disposable N95 filtering face piece for protection from glutaraldehyde, formaldehyde, ethylene oxide, or other hazardous chemicals found in healthcare facilities. When fitting tightly over the nose and mouth, the disposable N95 respirator creates a protective seal to prevent any contaminants from leaking around the edges of the face piece into the user's breathing air. A disposable N95 respirator must be individually fit tested to the wearer to determine proper size. This procedure must be conducted by a qualified tester and the test takes approximately 30 minutes per worker. Your respiratory protection program administrator will arrange for initial and annual fit tests. Also, a fit test is required whenever changes occur in an employee's physical condition that could affect respirator fit. Such conditions identified by OSHA include, but are not limited to, facial hair, facial scarring, dental changes, cosmetic surgery, or an obvious change in body weight. User seal checks are different from fit tests and OSHA requires them to be performed by employees whenever they put on a tight-fitting face piece respirator such as an N95. When darkness turns to light, it ends tonight, it ends tonight. Just a little insight won't make this right. It's too late to fight, it ends tonight. It's better.